A mother in Montgomery County is demanding more answers after her son was shot inside his school back in January. Now we've covered the rippling aftershocks from that shooting at Magruder High since it happened tonight in a story you're seeing first on WUSA 9. She's talking with our Nathan Baca about a town hall meeting held by school leaders. 16 year old DeAndre Thomas is back at Magruder High School. He was shot in a school bathroom with a ghost gun in the abdomen. He required 10 surgeries to recover. We follow the Thomas family through their recovery and Wednesday night, Magruder High School invited parents to hear what's being done to improve safety. What do you hope to hear from today's meeting? I'm hoping to hear um, what they've done since the incident to protect our students. But Thomas felt insulted. She heard about the meeting about her son's shooting from the same email sent to all parents. We asked MCPS to be at the meeting attended by dozens of parents. MCPS denied a request, saying it was out of respect for the families affected. I believe it's um, all talk. Uh, I'm questioning their genuine concern. MCPS live streamed the meeting, but also declined a request to record the meeting. So instead, we hear from the family most affected by the ghost gun shooting about what happened inside. I still don't have an answer as to why it has taken so long for MCPS to reach out to me. Um, still. I was given an apology, but that was about it. No real answer. During the meeting, MCPS leadership apologized for inaccurate communications during the shooting and the pace of parent-child reunifications. Thomas sued MCPS last week, saying the lack of school resource police officers was partially to blame for her son's life-threatening injuries. It was um, 36 minutes before another um, officer arrived. Um, a lot can happen in those 36 minutes. The shooter, Stephen Alston Jr., pled guilty and is awaiting sentencing in Montgomery County Courts. Reporting in Rockville, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.